in this lecture we have to discuss about drying and dehydration what is drying term drying refers as the removal of the relatively small amount of moisture from a solid or nearly solid material by evaporation drying involve both heat and mass transfer operation simultaneously basic difference in drying characteristic grain a thin layer deep bed a whole grain drying process divided in thin layer drying deep bed drying method of grain drying conduction convection and radiation drying there are un, many other method of drying method of drying like also namely dielectric drying chemicals or suction drying vacuum drying and freeze drying uh, convection convection drying commonly used for drying in conduction grain conduction drying employed by drying paraboil grain when the heat for drying transfer to the bed solid mainly through the conduction solid surface usually metallic and phenomena known as the conduction and contact drying conduction is the principal mode of heat transfer vaporized moisture removed by independently of the heating media heat transfer will solid take place conduction through solid surface usually metallic the surface of heat may be hot water steam fuel gas or hot oil surface temperature may vary widely contact contact dryer can be operated under low pressure and inert atmosphere thus dusty material can be removed by effectively and when agitation done more uniform dried product increase the drying rate by achieved by using conduction drying conduction drying can be carried out either continuously or batch wise cylinder dryer there is basic type of dryer uh, cylinder dryer drum dryer stream tube rotary dryer or co continuous conduction dryer some type of um, conduction drying vacuum tray dryer freeze tray dryer agitated pan dryer example of the batch and conduction dryer convection drying in convection drying drying of agent hot gases in contact with the solid supply heat and carry away the vaporized moisture and heat transferred through the bed solid bed uh, solid mainly by convection drying is dependent upon the heat transfer from the drying agent bed material from the in convection drying drying agent hot gases contact bed solid use supply to heat and carry away the vaporized moisture in the heat transfer to the bed and solid mainly convection Drying is depend upon the heat transfer from drying agent and bed material to the former being carried out vaporized moisture. Steam heated air direct flue gas agricultural waste can be used in drying agent. Drying temperature varies widely. At gas temperature below boiling point, vapor content of the gas affects the drying rate. If the atmospheric humidity is high, natural air drying needs to be the dehumidification, fuel consumption. per kg vapor uh, per kg of moisture vapor always higher than the conduction drying convection drying the most popular grain drying it can be carried out either continuously or batch wise continuous tray dryers continuous sheet dryer pneumatic convection drying rotary dryer tunnel dryer under the continuous system where tray compartment tray dryer batch dryer circulatory dryer are the method of convection drying radiation drying This is the newer concept of drying radiation drying based upon the absorption of radiation energy through the sun transfer into the heat energy by the grain sun drying is the greatest example of the radiation drying radiation drying can be accomplished with the aid of special infrared radiation generator namely infrared lamps moisture movement caused by the difference and partial pressure of water vapor between grain and surrounding air the effectiveness of sun drying upon the temperature relative humidity atmospheric air speed of the wide and type condition of the grain etc